Thank you, Taurus, for coming to my channel. My name is Marlena with Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot. Thank you so much for your subscribes, likes, and shares. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. All right, if you need anything from me and you need to contact me, my information is below. And let's get started. So first, what I received for you, Taurus, was loving yourself first. Very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want and it will come to you. And in the future, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. So as you let go of this depend codependency on someone, you're going to realize you're letting it go due to the deception. But I see some of you here are not releasing your ex because you have romantic feelings for them. So... And you're not quite sure if they're your true love, soulmate, but you're staying with them anyway. So you're having to decide, Taurus, what it is you want to do. So you're with someone and you don't know if they're your soulmate or not. You're not even quite sure if you want to heal this family dynamic. You have chemistry with the person, but it's just not what you was hoping for. So now you're questioning whether or not you, stay, you should stay with them or not. Maybe even perhaps questioning whether or not you are going to marry them. So I see some of you are not really wanting to give your relationship a chance, but you're still expressing your love. So you have a decision to make. You have a decision to make, Taurus. Because right now you're choosing to love yourself first. You're putting yourself first. You're deciding what it is best for Taurus. And that's awesome. I see some of you are taking action in regards to your love life now in order to make sure that you're happy. In order to sustain your relationship. Again, some of you are trying to decide whether or not you want to walk away. Um, you, but you no longer want to argue. You're not arguing. You're like, this is draining for me financially, emotionally. You're not trying to, you know, you don't want to be combative in any way. I feel like you kind of really made your decision in the past. You feel like maybe this person is not nurturing. You don't want to be trapped, but you don't want to be trapped in a dynamic where you don't understand this person, where you don't click like you want to. So now you're having to decide what it is that you want, Taurus. Clearly decide what it is that you want now so it will come to you. So let's see what decisions you need to make. What are these decisions about, about spirit? Very soon, they need to decide what it is that they want. I see a water sign in the picture. I also see a Virgo. Um... There, there are some truths that you're not seeing at this time. You are not trying to see the truth. I feel like you're trying to work towards something, but you're not fully seeing everything that is there. You, 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 you're not blind to it. You're just choosing to look the other way. So spirit, part of what you need to do is take action. You need to be assertive at this time. So I feel like you are being assertive at this time. You're trying to make moves. Okay, so you're really not trying to see the truth. You are kind of not listening to your intuition. You don't want to see um, the truth for what it really is. The reason why might have to do with your finances, codependency, things of that nature. So let's see what your partner, that cross watcher of Taurus, is feeling about this relationship. And remember that this is a general reading, so make sure you look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity. And of course, if you want something that pertains directly and specifically to you in your specific situation, you can reach me below. 
So your partner sees that you're expressing love and they still want to get married. Um, they still want to take this relationship to the next level. They're expressing to you what they want. This is what they want. They still want to get married. But that trust, this situation calls for you to have faith. They have faith that this is still going to work out. So it seems like you two are on two different levels. Mm. So it seems. <laughs> it just seems that way. <laughs> is it that way? What are the obstacles? Like I said, um, you guys are definitely expressing your love. It's as if, again, and I think that's where that deception comes in because you're still acting like everything's good. You're acting like you're still kosher. They're acting like they're kosher. Well, they are kosher. You're not kosher. Yeah, someone feels like it's not safe for them to love. They're not opening their heart. And somebody is getting some bad advice from some friends. So one person is overly optimistic. And I don't even think they're seeing the truth for what it really is, to be honest. Um, I don't know if you're with somebody that's less perceptive, but let's see your advice, Virgo. I mean, ooh, somebody might be dealing with a Virgo. Who's dealing with that Virgo? But um, let's see what your advice is, Taurus. See what advice we have for Taurus at this time. Thank you, Spirit. What advice do we have for Taurus for September 15th through the 30th? This is your end of the month spread. And then we're going to go into October. So I will be coming out with October soon. I'm trying to get ahead of the game. I got a little behind because my own life affairs. Okay, so... Receive and, receiving love and appreciation. Receiving something loving from others is a way of showing love. Receive with love and appreciation, Taurus. Your advice is to receive with love and appreciation. Romance this person that you love. Lavish the one that you love with the personal attention and affection. So maybe you really do want them or you're not quite sure what you want, but spirit is saying to still romance them. Also to love who you are. And remember, like attracts like. That means that what you're doing, they're doing. What they're doing, you're doing. Both of you are doing the same thing because you're both feeding off of each other's energies. If you're longing for more love in your life, be more loving. So if you feel like the other person is not giving 100%, maybe you're not either. Love who you are. Because if you love who you are, you definitely can do that and not feel the need to act. I feel like someone's expressing that they really love someone, but really don't. Or you're trying to love someone. But I just feel like someone's omitting information here. So honesty is definitely sometimes, almost always, in the right situations, the best policy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if the goddess has any advice for you, Taurus, at this time. Goddess spirits, let's see what advice we have for Taurus at this time. Oh, thank you, spirit. Ooh, all right. Compassion, realizing this, is necessary. Realizing... Um, that you have to understand where people come from. What are they doing? What, why are they who they are? So maybe you're just expressing love because that's what you were taught to do, to say the right thing no matter what. But do you really see what's going on? Do you see? And I feel like that's vice versa. I feel like this person has compassion for you, but I wonder if you are exhibiting compassion for this other person. Also having a, a mindful 
having an abundant mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what will you is what you will experience. Thank you so much, Taurus, for coming to my channel. I love you. Blessings to you. Loving and light. Bye-bye.